I'm Dr Tim Barton, cardiologist from Monash Heart in Australia. Our paper will be appearing in an upcoming edition of Mayo Clinic Proceedings and is entitled Transthoracic Echocardiogram is still useful in the initial evaluation of patients with suspected infective endocarditis. We looked at two objectives. Firstly, what the sensitivity of transthoracic echocardiogram is compared to transesophageal echocardiogram for suspected infective endocarditis in the modern imaging era. Secondly, we looked at whether a loosely defined definition of a normal transthoracic echocardiogram could rule out suspected infective endocarditis. Our definition of a normal transthoracic echocardiogram was those patients with no vegetation, with no intracardiac material, and with less than or equal to mild valvular regurgitation and mild valvular thickening. To evaluate this, we looked at 622 patients at our institution. Essentially, we found that the sensitivity for transthoracic echocardiography for the investigation of infective endocarditis was unchanged at 58% when compared to transesophageal echocardiography. This is comparable to historical data. More importantly, when we looked at those patients with a normal initial transthoracic echocardiogram, we found that this did essentially rule out infective endocarditis with a negative predictive value overall of 97%. This included a negative predictive value of 95% in those patients with Staphylococcus aureus bacteremia and a negative predictive value in, of 99% in the remainder of the patients without Staphylococcus aureus bacteremia. Conversely, the group of patients with an equivocal transthoracic echocardiogram, those who did not have a normal transthoracic echocardiogram, 19% of those patients still had vegetations identified on transesophageal echocardiogram. This finding relates to clinical practice as nearly half of our patients fell into our category of a normal transthoracic echocardiogram on the initial imaging. Incorporating these findings into clinical practice, we would propose a strategy where those patients who do have a normal transthoracic echocardiogram on initial imaging could defer transesophageal echocardiography. For patients, this means avoiding a transesophageal echocardiogram, which often requires anesthesia and also is an uncomfortable procedure with a risk of morbidity. The next step in this research is to perform a cost effectiveness analysis or a randomized controlled trial using our approach. The takeaway message of this study is that we believe that transthoracic echocardiogram should be used as the initial evaluation in patients with suspected infective endocarditis as a transesophageal echocardiogram may not be necessary in a substantial group of patients. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.